Hi everyone, it's Narelle here. This is going to be hopefully a quick demonstration on how to convert a JPEG image into an SVG image using Inkscape and then upload that image into Design Space. So the first thing we need to do is go and grab that photo that we want to convert to an SVG. So I'm going to select File, then Import, and I need to change this here from all Inkscape files to all images and then I'm going to go just up one and this is the image that I'm trying to convert so I'm going to click on that image and then at this point I'm not going to change anything there I'm just going to select OK so there's my image there um, that I want to convert to an SVG so our next step is to select that and to do that you just click on that image and then we're going to go up to Path and Trace Bitmap. From there, we're going to go to the bottom of that screen and we're going to click on Colors because this is a colored image and we want colored layers uh, when we get to Design Space. So I click on Colors and then I have to tell it how many times I want it to scan. Uh, this image and the way that I do that is I count the number of colors in the image and then I add one So in this image I have two shades of blue So I've got one two then I've got orange which is three black which is four the white which is five And then if I add my one I've got six so here over in the scan section I'm going to change that to six I'm going to leave this on smooth and stack scans and then I'm going to click update and it will show me what that's going to look like before I actually go ahead with the actual tracing. So you can see there in that window now that's, that gives me a preview of what the trace is going to look like and I'm happy with that. So now all I need to do is click OK and that will execute the trace. Once I've clicked OK, I can close this trace bitmap box. So I'll just click on the X up there to close that. And now I'm left with what looks like the same image that I started with. But what I've actually got is a traced version of that image sitting on top of my original image. So if I click on this image here, you can see down in the box here at, at the bottom of the Inkscape screen, it actually says this is a group of six objects which means I now have those six layers that I scanned and underneath that will be my original image. And that original image I'm going to delete because I don't need that anymore. So I need to move this one out of the way so that I can go and delete that other one. So I'll move that one over to the left there and then I'm left with this image here. So I can click on that one and you can see down the bottom here that this one actually says it's an image. So I know that that's the original image that I can now delete. So with that selected, I'll just click the delete button and I'm just left with my traced image. So all I need to do now is go and save this um, image as an SVG and then I can bring that into Design Space. So to do that, I select File. I'm going to go Save As or I could have gone File Save. Um, and then I'm going to select where I want to save that. So I'm going to put that into this folder here. I'm going to call it Mountains. And because I've already done a trial of this file before I created this video, I'll just call this Mountains 2. It defaults to an Inkscape SVG, so I'm going to select Save, and that's going to save that file for me. So now I can get out of Inkscape and go into Design Space. So here I am in Design Space and I'm ready to upload that image that I just created. So I click on the Upload button and Upload Image and Browse and then I go and look for that file. So that's this one here, Mountains 2. So I'll click on that one. That's going to bring that into Design Space. There's the preview. I can add tags to this image if I want to but I'm not going to. I'm just going to go and click the Save button and that's then going to add that to my recently uploaded images. So this is the one that I just uploaded. I'll click on that one, select Insert Images, and that's going to then put it onto my canvas. 
so I'm going to make that one a bit bigger so that we can see what we're doing and now what you can see on the right hand side here are all the layers that were created when I created that SVG now I've actually ended up with six layers instead of the five that I wanted um, one of these layers I'm going to be changing to white the other one I'm going to be deleting so let's go and click the ungroup button so we can actually pull this apart and see what we've actually got so we've got our top layer there which is the black part of the mountains and what I find um, easy or helpful is to have the original image available so that I can see that as well so I've got that here so this is the original image that I started with and I'm just going to move that over there um, so that's my original image so I've got this black piece here and then again I'll go back to here and I know that I've got these two blue pieces here in the lighter blue so let's grab that blue there so that's this one here so we're going to move that one out and then you can see that we've got these three it's made up of these three pieces now in our image we need just that small strip there and this um, sort of wiggly blue strip here so what we need to do is we can go and just uh, get, remove the pieces that we don't actually want so and that by doing that that's just going to save uh, paper when we go to cut it so technically we don't need this bottom part of this blue layer because this black here is going to cover that so what I need to do there is just go in here and click contour and then I'll just go down the bottom here I'm going to click on that layer that I don't want that's going to hide that which means it now won't cut now you don't have to do that if you're happy to cut all of that um, paper that's fine that's not a problem at all but if you're trying to conserve paper then this is um, the way to do that so now I've got the the two pieces that I need now I, I even though I've still got this big piece here I do need that because um, that's the only way to, to catch that small strip that was um, uh, there on the original piece so now I'm just going to move that into place there and then we're going to go to this blue so this is the darker blue so let's go and have a look at that photo again so again I've got the big piece at the top here and then I've got this smaller strip at the bottom so they're the two pieces that I need to make sure I keep so I'm going to go in here and you can see I've got the piece at the top I've got these two pieces um, left and right here which is that smaller strip I've got the big piece here at the bottom which I won't need and then I've got all these other little um, fragments here which I also don't need so I'm going to select that click contour and the quickest way to do this in this case because I've got so many tiny little pieces and it takes um, time to actually go and click each of those is that I go and select hide all contours and then I just go back and show or, or unhide the ones that I actually want to keep so I want to keep the um, top piece I don't want the bottom so I'm going to click on the top one because I want to keep that I want to keep these two pieces left and right and I don't want the bottom so now you can see that I've got just those three pieces there that have been selected and they're the ones that I want to keep so I'm going to click off the mat there and there's those three pieces remaining so now I can do that and then I need to go and do the orange layer so let's go and have a look at what we actually need with the orange layer and it's just this one thin strip here what I want to do is I want to take these pieces and put them back over the top here so that I can get an idea of what I need to actually hide if if there's anything at all that I can hide so I'll click on this piece here I'm going to select contour and then we'll go and see if there's anything we can do to hide here now we don't need the bottom piece so let's go and hide that and that has left me with all of this at the top here and I'm not sure if I can actually get away with hiding anything else but let's go and click hide all contours and then we'll click on this one to show that and we'll click on that one to show that and we we'll just have to work out which bits we can actually keep because I don't want all these little fragments there and that's not 
So I think that's as good as we're going to do in that case. So we've got this big piece here. We've hidden most of the fragments. There are a couple of other little lines here that are going to cut, but unfortunately there's nothing that I can actually do about those. I can zoom in there, but it's not going to let me cut uh, to hide those because they are actually part of this line and that's just happened during the scanning process in uh, back in Inkscape. So let's click off there and we'll see what we've got left. So we've got these two layers here. So let's take the black and then these two we'll move oh, and the orange. We're going to move those over to the side and this is what we've got left. So now one of these layers has to be changed to white. So I'm actually going to move this one out of the way and this one I'm going to change to white. I'm going to move that one in behind and for whatever we've done there it's now not showing. Let me move this piece out of the way. I'm going to align uh, center horizontally and then align top and then bring this black piece back over. and that looks about what we actually want. So this piece we now don't want, so I'm going to delete that and let's have a look and see if this looks anything like our original photo. So I'll bring that back in here and that looks pretty close. So it's n never going to be exact but um, it's definitely close enough to, so that you know that it is a, a, it is a trace of that original photo. So hopefully that is helpful. I know that the hide contour part was a little bit um, confusing, but just play with that. And and once if you hide contours, you haven't deleted them. You can then go back in and you can unhide those contours at any time. They are always going to be there, even if you save and uh, close that file. When you reopen that file, you can still go into that uh, those layers and go back to contour and bring those those pieces back in if you want to. So there you go. There's the. Um, quick and hopefully easy way to take an image uh, into Inkscape, convert that into an SVG by tracing it and then bringing that into Design Space. So I hope that was helpful. Um, please uh, feel free to comment if you have any questions and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.